Malvern Theatre Company started as a small drama group in the 1950s. Today they operate their own theatre and they've just announced a short play competition. Andrew Ferguson is president of Malvern Theatre Company. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Andrew, tell me about Malvern Theatre Company. Firstly, I've been involved for maybe 12 years as an actor and director. So the company itself has been going for 63 years um, in various locations, but we've been really lucky. We've now been 50 years in our current theatre. And over the decades, the various committees and volunteers have built up the theatre, installed break seating, improved the facilities, they actually built the stage in what was a bare hall um, and built up the audience, obviously. And we have a, about 1,200 subs, uh, subscribers at the moment. So um, we do five productions a year and 13 performances of each show. 50% of our audience live locally um, and enjoy and get used to also seeing some of the same faces on stage and seeing us after the performance, we come out and chat to them in the foyer. Um, and I think that's also very attractive that they have a sense that it is a community theatre and that they belong to that community as well. If anybody out there wants to be involved with a theatre company, we're always looking for uh, people who want to be on stage, backstage, um, in the foyer, any kind of volunteering. Um, we also look at original scripts from time to time. So we did uh, an Emma Woods play um, last year, which was great. Um, uh, and uh, we, we, we're we also looking particularly at Australian content that might suit our, our theatre company. So um, as I say, if you've got any questions or you want to contact us, please so, do so via the email address is probably the easiest in the first instance, or via Facebook. Andrew, tell me about the Happy Endings competition. Perhaps I can talk about where this came from in terms of us finding alternatives. So, um, of course, like many people, we thought, what can we provide our audience online and would they be interested? Hori Leek, who's one of our regular um directors and also uh, he's now a VDL judge. Uh, he put together a, a very interesting project because together with these other VDL judges, uh, six of them in total, he wrote the start to a play and handed it on without any sense of where the play was going. And we ended up with a play called Missing Paul. Um, it has many twists and turns, as you can imagine. Um, and Hori got in touch with me because also he'd been involved with um, an innovation at Malvern we've had for the last two years, which are rehearsed play readings. So they're one-offs, um, and we usually fill the theatre. We, we don't charge as much as a full production. The um, actors have rehearsed the play, but they have their scripts in their hands. And there's not necessarily a set, well, there usually isn't, minimal props and minimal stage movement. And so we thought, what's the next way to generate some original content? Um, we know that video is running a monologue competition. I think that closes also fairly soon. Um, and so I was talking to Alison Knight, the president at Peridot, and we thought, well, um, they run a one-act play competition. We thought that might be a way to go, but we thought also this sense of um, what do audiences want at the moment or need, and I think that's some positive kind of entertainment. Um, people are crying out for something that's going to make them laugh or, as we've decided, it's going to have a genuinely happy ending to, to what we're putting together. So then we thought, okay, if we open it up as a competition, we're not offering prize money or anything, um, but it's up to 12 minutes performance time. The play's theme is happy endings, um, and we're saying it can have intrigue, humour, surprise endings, whatever you like, but it has to have a genuinely positive outcome. Up to 12 minutes performance time, 
between two and four characters, so we're not accepting any monologues, and minimal use of props to suit this online environment. And we'll facilitate the recording of it, and indeed we'll choose a director and cast it, and that will be in um, conjunction, consultation with the playwrights. Um, and as I say, then we'll have this potentially 10 we're looking at, plays that we can release bit by bit. It'll be again on our YouTube channel and free to our subscribers. And is it only for uh, Malvern Theatre Company and Peridot members to enter or can anyone enter this competition? Anyone can enter it. Um, we're looking at um, directors and cast that are mostly um, involved with either of our companies regularly. But in terms of the playwrights, no, it's open to anybody. And how does someone uh, that might be watching this but hasn't previously been involved with Malvern Theatre Company or Peridot, how do they get more details and, and, and enter the competition? If you're not on our subscriber list, then the best place to look is Malvern's Facebook page, where the full de details are available there. And um, any inquiries or indeed entering the competition, um, we're asking uh, people to write to us, email to us, and our email address is Malvern, or one word, Malvern Theatre, RE, company, Malvern Theatre Company at gmail.com. Uh, so I can answer, I, I usually answer those emails so I can answer any questions people might have or as I say, if they want to look at the competition details, um, both companies are sending it out in their e-newsletter and it's on our Facebook pages. And entries close at the end of October, is that right? Friday, October the 30th, so people have got a good month. Um, I know a lot of playwrights out there have one-act plays ready to go. They may not fit the happy ending kind of um, theme, but um, they may tweak those or indeed if they've got time, write a, a new script. We don't mind if it's been entered before in other competitions. That's irrelevant really for this. 2021, it's a bit of a guess at this stage. Um, are you prepared to tell me on camera what at this stage, you think 2021 might look like for Melbourne Theatre Company? We haven't officially released our season, but we do know we've moved two plays forward that we had planned for this year. So that's um, Noises Off, which has been directed by Gaetano Gates and Tatma Santa. Um, it's a well-known play, it's a big cast. Um, it's our second season, which is April, May, so that's really fingers crossed um, that we'll be able to put it on at that time. And then we had um, a really exciting program, uh, a play directed by Helen Ellis called The Fleek, and um, we've moved that forward into August, September. Good luck with the uh, with with the the play competition. We look forward to to seeing what comes of that. And thank you so much for joining me today. Oh no, it's a um, real pleasure, and thank you, Andrew, because it's um, not often we get to be able to put our message out there and in such a public way.